location of the trip. This place is in Nelson, New Zealand and it's a pretty nice place because look at my view outside. It's a freaking pool. And look at the sunset. Gorgeous pink fluffy cotton candy clouds. I'll bring you guys inside to take a closer look. Bed sheets are not very trendy, but that's okay because the space is very big. TV, full size cabinet going on. Oh, yeah, the owner said he left a surprise for me in the fridge. Let's check out the fridge. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a fruit platter. Well, this place is pretty neat because it has a full-on kitchen and a microwave. Is this a freaking oven? Oh my tian! Is this an oven? No, <laughs> it's a dishwasher. <laughs> so aku Singaporeans don't know what is a dishwasher because we don't have that at home. Oh, DVD player! This thing is almost extinct already. Check out the toilet. It's pretty neat because it's very clean, very new. This shower head fascinates me a lot because what is that? Bruh. What is that circle thing? Where does the water come out from? I will find out tonight. And a lot of towels for one person. Belle is my neighbour so we are staying beside each other but we have rooms to ourselves. So I thought I wanted to do a little recap on today's waka session because I didn't have time to reflect and tell you guys about it and I really wanted to like after the whole session right so it's my first time actually doing a group canoe activity normally when I canoe it's only one person or two people but this was like a 11 or 12 people activity and it was a very enlightening experience why do I say that it's because um, the instructor he was very connected to the earth and the sea and the land like everything he did right he would give Give thanks to nature. I feel that we Singaporeans have missed out a lot on because we do not grow up with nature. We are constantly like beside concrete buildings. What I liked about it was that not only it's a spot like you really feel like your arms are aching throughout the rowing experience but it's also a teamwork thing and you also get reminded of how small you are in this whole universe. It's really hard to describe so I would really encourage you guys to experience it for yourself. The instructor we have was fantastic he was amazing like he taught us so many new things that i didn't know it's only day three on this trip and i feel pretty well rested already i don't feel tired from traveling i feel like this place really recharges you it energizes you yeah so if you're coming to new zealand please 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 go try a waka mori canoe experience because it is life-changing Okay guys, this is a whole new level of showering because if you can see, that was the mystery I was trying to solve and it actually sprays like that. Oh, 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 oh I'm getting wet. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. N never mind because that is not the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing is this two shower heads connected to the wall. Is this a thing in New Zealand? Hmm? Question mark. Look at that. One, two, three. <laughs> why? Question is, why would you need these two shower heads? Huh? We are currently at Nelson's main street, but as you can see, almost everything is closed because they close early here. But a few food stores are open. So we're having dinner at this place called the Hot Goods Co. Looks pretty good. Candlelight dinner with you two. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So today is day four in New Zealand. Time now is 9 a.m. and we're supposed to meet Belle for breakfast at Burger King. We had a bet saying like if she could wake up on time and meet me at 8:15 straight, I would buy her Burger King breakfast. But the thing is that change of plans because uh, the winds were pretty strong today and she was supposed to go skydiving so her skydiving got postponed but in the end she still cannot wake up so what is the point girl? <laughs> so I'm just having my own mini breakfast here alone in my room. The fruit splatter that they put in my fridge as a surprise yesterday. Oh, uh, I'm very
So today's plan is pretty chill for me because I'm not the one doing the skydiving. Only one of the two of us had to go and I said, no, please, please do the skydiving. I can pass. I'm like, not today, Satan. Not today. Happy on the ground, you know. So I'll quickly finish up my fruits, pack up my luggage and check out and let's go. So always when I go to a new country, I like to check out their McDonald's. And what's interesting is that here they have a mega Mac, which is like four layers of beef patty. Wow. They also have a Georgie pie, stick, mince and cheese. This looks really good. And their gourmet selections are pretty kick-ass too because look. They have the low cup burger which is like a lettuce wrap burger. I might be getting this because it looks good. But it's pretty pricey. I ordered the lettuce chicken in the end. I'm not sure how I ordered but I actually ordered a frozen coke which is like a coke slurpee. Let's try it. A frozen coke by accident. I have no idea how I ordered it. Put it in the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, I know because it couldn't go in. Just try it. Pretty cool, right? It's like the sweet, the gummy. Yeah. I was telling them that the McDonald's here has a lot of options. Like they have a lot of signature burgers, totally different from Singapore. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the lettuce burger. I got it in the chicken flavor. It's a lot of greens. Look at that. This is a better view of the insides of the burger. So there's beetroot. Egg, tomato, cheese, bacon, and the chicken. Currently just sent Belle off for a skydiving experience and she was so nervous because like before she left we were supposed to take pictures for her but she totally didn't want to take pictures really because her mind was just filled with the whole skydiving activity and we are currently waiting for her to dive down from the sky and looking out for her plane. Really happy for her that she's trying this now. I'll try it next time, not today because we'll probably wait for James to do it together. Uh, uh, Right inside the WOW Museum which no, is wow. World of Wearable Art. Art But where is the A? It should be called WOW, wow Museum <laughs> And there's a lot of very like fantastic looking clothes that are art Every year they have a show that they will showcase all these magnificent pieces And it's from all around the world like uh, designers, informal, professional, um, amateur Everybody and anybody can just design something and show it during this showcase like look at that What is that? But if you talk about anything about art right, I'll just be naturally interested So I'm really intrigued by all these designs It's downright beautiful eh? I'll give you guys a lot of close-ups Every day have been amazing guys Today we're having lunch at the jellyfish or late lunch because Belle just finished her skydiving Lady right here is eating holuni every single day which is a kind of fried cheese I would say Right? Yeah it Tastes really good and really healthy And this one here every day it's Say it Fish and chips, fish and chips Makes me wanna lick my lips <laughs> Eat it for breakfast, lunch and tea Fish and chips around me Bing. Basking in the sun But is this a sea or a lake or a river or what? Press the say. But it's like leading out to the sea or is it low yeah. tide? It's low tide uh, Nice! Third accommodation of the trip I feel like I'm showing you guys a lot of hotels and apartments But guys, this one is really sweet It's the most Changmin styled one so far Let me show you because Oh my god, I want that in my toilet Look at the towels Marble Very fancy hotel We are now in Christchurch Yeah, we are moving around quite a lot because New Zealand is pretty big and it takes time to travel from one area to the other area So yes, plus I have a view Got balcony, okay, don't proper guys Hello Christchurch this place is a happy place. You have to come. New Zealand is one of my top holiday spots already. It has a special place in my heart.
So good morning, we drove all the way to Kaikoura to try some barbecue seafood and this is what we ordered so far, a huge crayfish, apparently this is a crayfish, not a lobster and a grouper, Kokura seafood barbecue I think it's day 5 guys but we're having lunch at a really cool place like my meal looks amazing Today's weather is also super amazing Are you sure this is not a lobster? Maybe they call it crayfish but it's actually a lobster because it looks definitely like a lobster. This is the right way to start my day. So right now we're gonna spot some seals. This is actually a seal watching bay where you can really come up close and personal with seals like that. But most of them are just basically basking in the sun and sleeping. Standing right here and the seal is right there, just right there. Like a few meters away. But we were told not to get so close because they can actually be quite fast. And if you get into their space, they might become cranky. But they look really pretty similar to the rocks so you gotta have a really sharp eye to spot them. Right now we are at Wings Over Whales and we will be doing some whale watching. I've never whale. seen you marry me. <laughs> whale you? So cute. Um, yeah, I've never really seen a whale in my life before. So if I manage to see one today, it's gonna be awesome. And I'm like super excited because I love animals. And this one is like so different from seeing it in the aquarium because you are flying over the ocean and you get a full like bird's eye view over the whale. So wish me luck that I will see a whale today. Um, there is there. Sperm whale. That's the male and that's the female. Why is it called sperm whale? Um, it has this stuff in his head called spermaceti. And it's like a liquid and it helps out with his buoyancy and also oh. with his echolocation. Um, so he has a tooth whale, so he's got 54 big teeth. This is his teeth? Yeah, yeah. Real one on the counter there if you wanted to have a look at that. But we all go down to 500 feet over the whale and then we just circle around him and you guys get a, get a good look. So um, the plane's a little bit faster than the helicopter, um, so we just dance turn a little bit. So we're entering the plane. Oh, so oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no worries at all. Well, yeah, that's cool. Front seat. Thank you. Snuggled up awesome. inside. Yeah. even get so much. So today we are just on the boat spotting some dolphins. Um, didn't want to go in because I'm not a very confident swimmer so I'm just gonna be dry on that and just look at the dolphins like that. It's good enough for me just that the boat's a bit choppy. It was really like a roller coaster ride like the whole boat ride was like crazy man. But luckily we found the dolphins and everybody's having fun. on a llama trek which means I'm walking my very own llama all the way to the river it's about a one and a half hour hike with a llama 
even more if we were to Mine's really noisy though, it keeps making noises like but that's how they communicate. They're nervous because they don't want to be the dinner of another animal. But they will reflect your personality. If you're not positive around them, if you don't show them what it is you want from them, they're going to get nervous and start to wander away from you and they're not going to be with you. So we need you, particularly at the start of the trek, while we're getting things sorted out between you and your llama. So my llama is going to the toilet. He's free flow peeing. He's not stopping anytime soon. It's been one and a half minutes already. Oh, oh, more, more. He, he, he really has a whole tummy full of shit, yeah? You're full of shit. He's been really naughty so far, but now his face is full of bliss. He's so happy after he shit. Okay, let's go, Bluey. Good morning, guys. Today is our official last day in New Zealand, but currently we are in Christchurch, which is where the airport is located. Uh, so tomorrow morning, we're going to take a really early flight all the way back to Singapore. So we're going to make the most of today. Right now, I'm just waiting for Belle to come down. Um, she is the queen of late and the queen of losing her stuff because I think on this trip right she lost a total of like four to five items already when Belle tells you a certain timing always come 15 minutes later but actually now it's 15 minutes later already she's still not here it's a little fun tip of Belle for you so in the morning we're supposed to go catch a boat and currently it is 9 30 but the boat ride is at 9 40 and we have a 15 minutes walk, we've got to figure out where is it in the I don't know, I'm just going with the flow. Yeah, so this we made amazing. it for the boat ride because we kept over instead of walking 15 minutes. <laughs> Got one coming up from the Long Kang over there. the New Zealand Arts Centre where they have a lot of like artsy fartsy stuff right down my zone. Um, all these art places are in old historical buildings so on the outside it looks very like Harry Potter-ish but on the inside it's very trendy. So let me take you around. done with shopping the whole of Christ Church's main shopping street and it barely took us like what one hour I didn't buy anything because I didn't really see anything that I wanted every store was very uh, I think what do you call commercialized and very mainstream brand so I didn't really see anything that caught my eye because I like some hipsterish stuff but Belle yeah, bought hipsterish stuff oh uh, yeah maybe uh, now only three shops in front of me <laughs> and the main shopping street, right, is so ulu. It's very little people living here, lah, basically. So, you don't see a lot of people around. It's very sparse. Just so a bit disappointed that our shopping trip isn't very fruitful. Yeah, we're like, yeah, you can shop, but not Yeah, we were very excited that the last day it was shopping! We were like, oh my god, I'm gonna spend all my money! I'm gonna buy like 10 bags home or something. But it's not see anything. Look at the earthquake house. This is what you're talking about, is it? Yeah, you never see from that thing. I, I couldn't at... see. I was falling asleep on the tram. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this is the most exciting thing I've seen today. Yeah, okay, what I want to tell you guys is that apparently Christchurch went through a massive earthquake. I think how many years ago? Five years ago? About there. 
and then almost everything collapsed. So they are trying their very best to build back the city. So a lot of things look very new. That's because it was just built after the earthquake. Okay, let me show you how empty the place is. So we are at the city centre. Ah. We are at the terminal or something nearby. And yeah, it's basically just us. So we are currently at the memorial place of the Christchurch shooting. And yeah, it's very sad. But it's also very beautiful at the same time because so many people coming together to to speak up about the event because they're saying like love not hate and respect diversity hand in hand and rise up we are one currently we are at the airport waiting for our flight back and to and Singapore <laughs> and yeah this woman ordered fish and chips again she probably had it for like seven or eight times during this one week trip uh, no, I really have fish and chips for breakfast now eh? yeah it's very jealous <laughs> I hope your mom sees this Oh, she, she, watches, she, hey, no, she watches my stuff yeah, no. she watches and she reads my stuff also. Yeah. Then she my never texts you and say like, can you stop eating fish and chips? Yeah. Did she? No. Like, she, she will text me like, why you do this, why you do that. And she will watch all my friends' stories. Like. So, so mom, we are watching say? this. Um, fish and chips taste good. <laughs> mm, it's very oily. Okay, we're going to play a little game now. We're going to say descriptive words of New Zealand and the first person who runs out of something to say uh, losers. Okay. So for example, like on New Zealand, it's amazing like that. Uh, okay? Okay. Okay, who start first? Silver stone. Silver stone. Paper stone. Who start? Yeah, I start. Okay. New Zealand is beautiful. Amazing. No, you can't say amazing. I said amazing just now. But you never used it as a... <laughs> okay, okay, it's beautiful. Colorful. Fresh. Warm. It's not warm. It's cold. Friendly. Uh, peaceful. Filled with love. Love, love, uh, joyful, fish and chips. Yes, there's three words. <laughs> but do you want one? Yeah. Fish and chips is one, always joined. One word. Fish just says fish. fish. Um, wine. <laughs> okay, I give up. I lose. <laughs> what about your highlight and low light of the trip? Uh, I think our low light is the same. Puking on the boat. Yeah, the dolphin ride was super crazy. We almost died. But apparently, it's not always like that, no. Yeah, on the we just we sway lah. We just really sway. Very choppy. So yeah, how about your highlight? Skydiving and basically like doing things independently. Like I'm somebody that's always I don't know. I just don't like to be alone. But yeah, like she I stay has alone. To be very attached to something or something like Some her bunnies, bunnies, or, for example. Yeah la, Yeah, I have my bunny on. Yeah. I, I like things repetitive and I like to be attached to something. Mm -hmm. So doing skydiving for the first time by myself, that was a, uh, 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 something new. It taught her independence, I felt like this trip made her grow a little bit as a person and every time you travel it's good to grow and learn, right? For me, it's the llama! I love the llamas, like oh my god, I keep, I keep thinking of my, about my llama. The llamas make you really happy and, and she likes to learn so she's like an information like sponge so anywhere that helps her learn then she'll be like really, really happy. <laughs> she visited a vineyard for the first time. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, the waka was quite good also. Yeah, that the was waka very because uh, we learn about the earth, the land, the sea and being one with the universe. Yeah, but still working out, keeping fit, being healthy and loving each other at the same time. So overall this trip is very wholesome, uh, super well planned. If you guys are interested in the itinerary, do leave a comment down below. Or and you can just check out our highlights on Instagram. Yeah, but you need to click through one by one, one by one. But if you guys um, want the itinerary, then maybe I'll bother to summarize it properly for you. But if you watch the vlog, you will also agaration know our itinerary already lah. Yeah, so this is Belle. Do follow her at Belle well, well, Jelly. Jelly. And yeah, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Love you, New Zealand. Salangye! Fish and chips! Ah! Yeah. Huh. Oh, they can make friends. Yeah, they're kissing. I got their food. They're all coming. They're coming at me. Oh, she eats so fast. Wow, she eats too fast. You can't eat all of them. You cannot.
You cannot! Oh, you No, I mean your turn. Wow, eating well. Last day of our trip, it's time for some ice cream. We are at Rollican Gelato and it looks really good. <laughs> 